Hi everyone. Welcome to Kotak Securities Weekly Fundamental Podcast. I am Rini Mehta. Markets were weak during the last week. Stock markets basically focused on ongoing fourth quarter results and rising global and domestic bond yields. Guys, it seems markets continued to price in the increasing probability of aggressive rate hikes by the US Fed. The Sensex was 1.5% down during the week. while nifty reported a loss of 1.2% during the last week most of the sectoral indices ended in red bsc it was the top loser losing around 5.3% followed by bank nifty on the other hand bsc auto was the top gainer with gain of around 3.6% while oil and gas gained around 2% on the economy front uh international monetary fund has downgraded the global uh, growth outlook and projected current year uh, 2022's global gdp growth at 3.6% versus 4.4% previously the imf has also cut india's gdp forecast to 8.2% from the earlier projected figure of 9% for current year 2022 this however guys is far better better than its estimates for other major economies like the US, China and Japan. Uh now coming to the US, Federal Reserve Chairman uh, Jerome Powell aff- affirmed the central bank's determination to bring down inflation and said that aggressive rate hikes are possible as soon as next month. Powell's statements essentially meet market expectations that Fed will depart from its usual 25 basis point hikes and move more quickly to tame inflation that is running at its fastest pace in more than 40 years. Along with the rate hikes, the Fed is expected soon to start reducing the amount of bonds it is holding. This has several effects on the markets and economy. In other international news, in China, foreign businesses are struggling to bring workers back to factories after weeks of lockdowns in Shanghai as the country battles its worst COVID outbreak since the pandemic began. Amidst this, let's see how was the foreign investors participant participation in markets. FII flows continued to remain negative in the month of April till date. They were net sellers to the tune of rupees twenty nine thousand two hundred and six crores till date. One of the key reasons for FII outflows is the pro- uh, prospect of aggressive global rate hikes, given a rising inflation, tightening of monetary policy, and ongoing geopolitical concerns. FII's are moving to home country, and are expected to remain volatile in the near term. Other than Indonesia and Thailand. All other emerging markets witnessed outflows in the month of April till date. Now coming to the top stock picks, uh, you can consider buying H- HCL Technologies with a target of rupees one thousand three eighty. HCL Technologies uh, reported a solid fourth quarter with five percent quarter on quarter growth in services. Revenue guidance is significantly better, even while its margin guidance band revision is on expected lines. dividend payout of rupees 44 per share for a financial year 2022 is impressive products disappointed but account for only 7% of our sum of the parts uh, based fair value we train our sites beyond uh, sequential optics on the improvement in digital competencies and it services business composition guys it's a good time to buy uh the company with fair value of rupees 1380 moving on our pick of the week is hdfc bank with target of rupees 1650 hdfc bank reported 23% year on year earnings growth on the back of 5% year on year operating profit growth operating performance was weak as a uh, net interest income grew 10% year on year while non uh, interest income had lower treasury income the overhang of the merger and lack of differentiation in underwriting or return ratios post covid are weighing heavily on the valuation multiple even if the earnings trajectory is quite healthy 
be maintained by rating but the stock is unlikely to be an outperformer among large banks so guys that's all for today if you like our podcast don't forget to tap on the notification bell and subscribe to our channel see you again next week thank you signing off